Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this metallic grid that you can use as a background using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So perfect, before we start, like always, let's go to File, New. I'm going to use my 1820 by 1080 preset, but you can use any size that you want. I'm going to leave all the rest as it is and I'm just making sure that the transparent background is ticked off. So I click create and we have a new document. So before we continue, let's go to view. Make sure you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. So perfect. With that out of the way, let's get started. OK, so the first thing, let's go to our tools, select a donut, click to select, hold command shift click and drag to create a proportional shape now i'm coming here to my transform make sure that you have click on the link so both the width and the height are the same and i'm going to give it the 31 pixels i'm going to make it quite small i'm going to zoom in and then the radius for the hole i'm going to make it uh, let's say 90 percent something like that they will be fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a field with uh, with a gradient so i'm coming here i'm going to select gradient i'm going to select that one and let's make it pure black and this one let's make sure that is full white and then i'm going to put this roughly around about what 80 percent somewhere there i think somewhere there will be fine Perfect. Now I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to select the rotation handle. Hold shift, click and drag and give it, I don't know, 60 degrees, something like that. The other thing now that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put some blur. So click on the effects Gaussian blur and I'm going to give it what? Like a one pixel, uh, one pixel. I think a one pixel is fine. And now what I'm going to create is a circle that goes uh, behind this. So I'm going to click and drag to create a circle slightly smaller than the, than the donut. So actually, let me send that one to the bottom. Let me click select and make sure that it's a solid, solid color um, using black. Sorry, choose the wrong one. That one is the one. <laughs> uh, so let's make sure that we are using a solid color that is black. And basically, I think at this one, we can make it a little bit bigger. No, I'm selecting the wrong one. This one is the one. Uh, I think like that is perfect. Good, so now I'm going to click and drag to select everything, Command J to group. And now I'm going to change the mode of uh, this layer. I'm going to click in the mode and I'm going to change it for luminosity. And then I'm going to change also the opacity. I'm going to take it roughly 80, 81%, something like that will be fine. So perfect. With that, I'm going to click, drag and select and I'm going to bring it some somewhere here. Now we need to actually to put them all in a in a grid pattern. So for that, what I'm going to do is to make it easy. I'm coming here to view. I'm going to select show grid first and then let's go back to view and show grid. Um, sorry, select grid and access uh, manager. So I'm going to click in there. I'm going to click in the advanced. Make sure that it's not uniform because if it's uniform, you're going to have just only one access. So I'm going to take that one out. So you have two. So I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to give it 36.4. And then the divisions, I'm going to use two divisions. And for this one here, I'm going to give it 29.4 and also I'm going to give it 
two divisions you'll see why now in 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 a while while is done like this now make sure that you have the grid and the subdivision lines in two different uh colors i choose gray uh we can use we can make it a little bit darker so it's easy for us to to visualize mm, everything is okay so let's click close okay there is one here that is not doing what it's supposed to be doing okay click outside to make that change that is something that i didn't realize that happened i thought that as soon as you click close everything will go through but not anyway so let's drag this first first one day and make sure that it's perfect align in the is perfectly in the middle uh, something that I'm going to do now is fine like that so now if you hit alt click and drag and we can put the second one there make sure that is right in the middle I'm going do not deselect that one okay I'm going to just zoom out so I can see everything with that one selected now if you press command J is going to actually paste it one more there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag to select everything command J to or control J to uh, group everything now I'm going to hold alt click and drag and we can put another one we can put it actually in there I think there is perfect they should be in the middle now something that happened you will see because there is so many if you miss just for one or two pixels you'll see that actually doesn't line up so let's hope that this one was perfect there and yeah seems like everything is fine we are going to find out now perfect so now the, now that is one of the parts now i need to click and drag this one and i need to put it in there they should be fine now if you if you do the um, command j now it's going to put them always in diagonal so what we need to do is we need to create another one so mean to make sure that you have the same spaces you will see if i did it correctly everything will go fine if not you'll see that actually there is no the gap start changing yeah seems to be fine nice and yeah i think that's it perfect so i'm going to click and drag to select everything and command j to group and as you can see maybe we can delete these ones that are not used this is optional uh, it's up to you if you want to do it or not you can leave it like that you can give another space you can play around with the spaces as well but i found out that this one gives uh, the best look to the to the entire thing okay so that one so now is uh, command j so is everything is one group okay so that group there we can delete that one so in this one we have everything all the groups selected okay so with that done now we need to let's get rid of the of the grid because we don't need it anymore and now is is you can see it is more clear but let's give that kind of uh, background that you saw in the previous one so I'm going to click in the click and drag to create uh, background solid background. Let's go to the fill. 
uh, gradient I'm going to choose radial like that and I think it, this one we can make it a little bit grayish something like something like that and the middle point let's move it something there you can play around with these values to actually um, make it look better or the way that you want and then when you actually send it to the back you have this and because this luminosity is only affecting that side and seems like you have the light hitting in there and then you have the dark side there or the dark part and makes like a you it's, it's i think these grids are made by uh by um it's, it's like a point or something like that that it actually punched the metal so you have that rounded uh, uh, border that goes into inside okay so basically uh we can make it a little bit better if if you look i think marshall used a grid similar to this one or um amplifiers that you use for um you know for guitar or bass amplifiers and things like that so let's make it let's give it a little bit something extra so let's let's put the marshall like the amplifiers i'm going to change the color today and i think uh, that one or that one i can't remember exactly i think that one looks more or less it's just only you know to to give it some let's make it um just only to give it some appeal and see how you can use it so what i'm going to do into this one is i'm going to give it a 3d effect and let's zoom in to see what we are doing uh, let's increase the radius a little bit to make it a little bit more rounded uh, shine we can bring it a little bit down and I think that is fine and the other thing that we are going to put is an outer shadow uh, let's make it completely and the offset let's give it some there to the side uh, luminosity I think luminosity will be better I leave that up to you uh, okay so as you can see it's not that complicated it's actually quite simple to achieve this kind of uh, background so perfect I think that's it for today's video remember to subscribe to leave the comment in the section down below um, if you like the video just give the thumbs up if you didn't like the video hit the thumbs down twice so anyway like always thank you very much for watching and i'm seeing you in the next video